Good morning. Hi, this is Greg Herrera. I'm the uh, founder and CEO of Centurus. And uh, today we're doing, going to be doing a session on our framework manager metadata modeling tips and tricks. Your uh, uh, instructor this morning is Patrick Powers. He's one of our senior solutions architects here at Centurus. And um, he's been with us for six years. From the our new feature. For those of you who have not started using 10 yet or are interested in this or maybe haven't even seen it under the options menu because you've just been using your standard stuff, there's a model design accelerator. Now, this is a new feature. We're going to go through it here uh, quickly, but not too fast. I want you guys to see it. What's nice about it is it is a wizard for getting data in and getting data published uh, very rapidly. It guides you through the process. It, t it handles some of the relationship issues in the background. It's for when you want to see. So let's say that, for example, somebody's giving you a, na a new data source and you don't have all the information on it and you want to be able to get it quickly published out there to see what's in there. The MDA gives you a fast way of setting up your dimensions, setting up your fact, and handling a lot of the FM stuff that we're all used to on the back end. We're down to about 10 minutes here, so I want to try to get through this one pretty quick, but again, not too fast so that you see it, or so you don't, that you don't see this function. All right. So as you can see here, a three-tiered model of a physical business and a presentation. This is our end result. This is what it's going to look like when we're done. And it was all generated for me. If I come here to webinar, I don't have anything in my model. I've got a blank product, or excuse me, a blank project. Under tools, I'm going to run my model design accelerator. And just like normal, it's going to ask us what data source we want to use. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Great Outdoors Warehouse. And we're going to go ahead, again, just like normal, what tables we want to bring in. So I'm going to, I need to get data out there today is essentially what I'm looking at. I need to get some facts and some orders out there on my products and I need to know what promotions are going on today, and I need to know what products we sold. And I don't have, as the modeler, I don't have time to go through and change all these things and figure out everything and understand what's going on. I have a deadline to get this out here. So by just selecting those few tables that I need to meet my immediate need, I can use this, the MDA, to get this information out there, and it'll take care of all these joins and everything that's happening normally. It'll handle them on the back end. What I've got here on the right is the nice graphical view, and all I need to do is drop in those fields that I want. Now, this works. Understand that this works because it is working off of a star schema. This is a wizard, and it's looking for joins, which is why I picked certain tables to bring in here, where we want to make sure that we've got the keys and we've got things for it to look at. I'm going to bring in into my fact table, which I can rename and call order fact. Everything that I'm going to want to see is a measure. If I try to bring in something that is not a measure, it will tell me that I can't do that. And that's nice, especially when you have certain things that aren't uh, defined clearly or if you're not sure, if you've got a name that you think is a key but it's not really. Uh, there's a lot of times where folks will use number or ID instead of key in their database. 
And if you try to bring something like that in here, it's going to say no. I can only deal with facts. And then I'm going to go ahead and I have my query subjects. What are my dimensions for this? I'm going to call this one product. And all I need in here are my attributes. Notice that it created that relationship for me. It went ahead and it brought that in. So I'm going to bring in just those few little, little items. I'm going to have one for order method. I'm going to bring in my order method code and my order method in English. I'm going to go ahead and do one for promotions. Now I'm just going to bring in the four. Obviously, if you needed more, you could go ahead and create more. You could bring more in. Just shows you four by default there. And then lastly, I've got my sales order. And while I'm typing this, I did see one question come across. Yes, this is included. This is part of Framework Manager in C10. It's uh, you have to go ahead and get anything new or anything different. Now, those of you who have dealt with FM in the past and you know how challenging it can be to sometimes create your model, rename everything, go through everything, make three layers, watch this. Generate model. A perfect, quote unquote, three tiered model ready to go with just what we need with our renames. Now, of course, it didn't rename the fields because I didn't rename the fields in there. But there it is with everything flattened, everything ready to go. And I could publish this out right now and have, have a system ready to go that can be used within 